A weak swing and a miss there by Moran. And of course, Royce Lewis is back on the island. Moran has started 34 of the first 36 games before being sent down. So they really have big plans, but. Three balls, two strikes on Miranda, trying to become the first twin to reach base tonight. Number of players on the IL. Here's a tapper off the bat of Miranda, fielded by Westberg, his throw in time. What do you like from him? Well, he's showing a good fastball tonight. I uh, love the fastball. Whatever it is, it hasn't worked for nine innings. <laughs> we need to switch it because I don't think we've hit a ball hard in nine innings against the guy. So much, Brandon. As Michael A. Taylor jogs back. Pulls that one down. Six of the all three pitches. I love his mound presence, though. He believes he can compete and shut down any team in baseball in doing that. James McCann couldn't hold his swing, and it's no balls, two strikes. McCann. McCann's going to have to just wear it, being the guy that is at the plate. And McCann strikes out quickly on another high fastball from Bailey. All pitches when you feel like you can get on top of it. Strike one to Jorge Mateo as a lot of did Mateo. One ball, one strike from Bailey Ober. Twelfth round. Well, he's worked his way onto the big league staff. Sonny Gray made the All Star team. You could certainly make a case for Pablo. The mound, you know you're going to get quality from him. Good sequence right there. He thought he had a nice little category. Another foul from Mateo. That in 12 years, and Rocco Baldelli has you know, a little bit of. And Jorge Mateo already has a big lead as Ober checks on him. Those twins team. Ball one to Gunnar Henderson. There's a throw, and he's safe, but the twins might take a look. Close play. Definitely bang, bang. Ober did a good job of getting a nice throw over there. Now two balls, no strikes on Henderson. That's one. And now it's three balls and no strikes. What was the line for you? And your left-hander so was a little different. Two to the plate. Usually they just scratch that out and then say we're going to hit and run because he's so quick to the plate. Ao is not running, and there's ball four anyway to Henderson. So maybe some of the attention from Ober Anthony Santander with 33 homers last year and now 14 this season leading baseball to travel deep he also can cover the breaking ball so it's not all just about hunting the fastball he's a bit to left field Willie Castro is there and Bailey over works around a couple of walks but tonight scoreless game so far neither team has put black for the St. Paul Saints says Christian Vasquez takes ball one from Cole Irvin Really, really nice environment, even for the opponents. This is as far as the actual footprint oldies that are still around. As Christian Vasquez cuts through that pitch down in the zone from Cole Irvin. Santander retires Vasquez. And seven up, seven down for the uptick anywhere from 92 to 94 miles an hour. The sinker, though, is his bread and butter. I think that he's a contact out over the plate with the sinker, and he wants to get swing and miss. Use that breaking ball down. It's on their bench. As Kepler goes after the first pitch, a hard ground ball, but Westberg with a backhand. Retire. Alex Kirilov and Joey Gallo. So lefty starter out there kind of this year. He's come back. He's attacked hitters. He has learned to work his sinker back in. Well, sometimes you have to make an adjustment and, and, and be humble and talk to you to be humbling, but. Being able to throw that backdoor breaking ball, keeping guys off balance, seeing fastball, setting up everything else. Two balls, two strikes on Michael A. Taylor. Not a lot of depth in the rotation, so even though they're successful and this is a team that can score a lot of inning on, they feel like they can lock it down. It's all about getting a lead to get the ball to that town that will be the key. Now Cole Irvin is so far. He's got all of his pitches that seem to... Your hitters on offense took over the hitters meeting about a week ago. The offense had taken off. We're not quite in first place. It seems like he is expected a little bit more from his team. Lineup, you expect more, especially in the power department. You're okay with the swing and miss as long as playing unison. Have the pitching staff continue to throw strikes, put guys away, be efficient. Guard. 
hits to the infield grass and makes that catch. A couple of pop pops to start the inning. O'Hearn with a score. <laughs> Even the Boston Red Sox who hover around 500 in, in the bottom of that. For you to get past those teams, you have to be able to mount an offensive first place twins. Here's Jordan Westberg swinging over top of one. He struck out on three pitches. Boston hasn't gone away. They're playing the A's this weekend, so a chance of a division, right? <laughs> Probably the best. That was five. <laughs> Jordan Westberg with a bouncer down the line foul. Every club knows they have to play with a certain type of intensity. Little loop to left, and there's the first hit of the game for either team. Nice piece of hitting. Here's Colton Kowser taking ball one. Westberg and Kowser kind of coming up in kind of Westberg, Kowser, Gunnar Henderson that all were. And now these young players have been brought up to try to win together. Alex Kirilov and Joey Gallo. So lefty starter out there kind of this year. He's come back. He's attacked hitters. He has learned to work his sinker back. In. Well, sometimes you have to make an adjustment and, and, and be humble and talk to you to be humbling, but being able to throw that backdoor breaking ball, keeping guys off balance, seeing fastball, setting up everything else. Two balls, two strikes on Michael A. Taylor. Not a lot of depth in the rotation, so even though they're successful and this is a team that can score a lot inning on, they feel like they can lock it down. It's all about getting a lead to get the ball to that town bullpen would be the key. Now Cole Irvin is the far. He's got all of his pitches that seem to. Your hitters on offense took over the hitters meeting about a week ago. The offense had taken off. We're not quite in first place. It seems like he is expected a little bit more from his team. Lineup, you expect more, especially in the power department. You're okay with the swing and miss as long play in unison. Have the pitching staff continue to throw strikes, put guys away, be efficient. Guard. Gets to the infield grass and makes that catch. A couple of pop pops to start the inning. O'Hearn with a score. <laughs> Even the Boston Red Sox who hover around 500 in, in the bottom of that. For you to get past those teams, you have to be able to mount an offensive first place twins. Here's Jordan Westberg swinging over top of one. He struck out on three pitches. Boston hasn't gone away. They're playing the A's this weekend, so a chance of a division, right? <laughs> Probably the best. That was five. <laughs> Jordan Westberg with a bouncer down the line foul. Every club knows they have to play with a certain type of intensity. Little loop to left, and there's the first hit of the game for either team. Nice piece of hitting. Here's Colton Kowser taking ball one. Westberg and Kowser kind of coming up in kind of Westberg, Kowser, Gunnar Henderson that all were. And now these young players have been brought up to try to win together.